Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those new here, my name is Nikki. I'm an author and editor and I post videos here on YouTube about writing, editing, reading and all the things I love. Now today I have a tag for you. It's a booktube tag and it's one created by me. So I do hope some of you would join in. All the questions are below in case you want to. Um, I'd welcome it if you give me a quick shout out as the creator. But if you give it a try, I really hope you'll have fun with it. Uh, this is called the Around the World tag. And as the name suggests, uh, it's about recommending books from different parts of the world. Uh, so we can all try something a little bit different. Uh, now I've gone with six continents. I, I am ignoring Antarctica because I don't think the penguins have been writing much of late. But um, we've got six uh, categories and obviously they're hugely broad categories since we're just doing it by continent. Uh, but I figured doing one by country would take way too long. So I've just gone with my gut thought of the first thing that popped into my head for each of the continents. And uh, we'll kick off without any further ado. So um, we're doing this, um, first of all, starting with Asia. Uh, for Asia, I've picked The Wind Up Bird Chronicles by Haruki Murakami. Um, I'm a huge fan of Haruki Murakami. I think Japanese literature in general has been really brilliant, um, particularly in the last century. And um, this is just one of my favorite Murakami works. It's one of the earliest ones I read. Um, number two, Africa. This one was really hard for me. I'm actually in the middle, as, as I film this, of trying to do um, an around the world reading challenge. Uh, and I want to read a book written by an author born in every country in the world. And Africa is proving the most difficult so far. Um, the other countries you find quite a lot around, but Africa I'm really having to search for. So I only have one so far um, for an author born in Malawi. And that is Wakenhurst by Michelle Paver. And uh, this is a gothic tale, so if you like sort of um, spooky houses and family secrets and the like, this is a book for you. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing if other people do this tag, if they have from, some recommendations for African authors with books set in Africa as well, um, perhaps involving African mythology um, and folklore and things like that. So uh, I'm hoping to find a few of those to read in the future. And moving on though, um, first I apologise for the light. Um, Something weird is going on outside this morning. It's like going to rain, then it's sunny, and it, the light just keeps changing. So um, hopefully I'm not going too dark for you. Number three, North America. Uh, the first thing that came to my head was The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Obviously a huge, huge classic work. Um, so I'm sure many of you have read it already, but if you haven't, it's definitely um, one I recommend. It really epitomizes the 1920s and the jazz age. And number four, South America. For this one I've picked Kiss of the Spider Woman by Manuel Puig, who's an Argentinian author. And uh, it's set in 1970s Argentina in a prison cell um, and involves the two cellmate, cellmates, um, Molina, who is a gay window dresser, and Valentin, who is a um, Marxist uh, political activist. And um, they're obviously very antagonistic, but they come to understand each other uh, during the course of their time together. Number six, uh, sorry I lied, number five, Europe. I have picked Independent People by Haldor Laxness. Laxness is an Icelandic author and Independent People is the book that won him the Nobel Prize in Literature and it's a really amazing work. Laxness has a really um, brilliant wry humour, um, almost black at times, but he also has a wonderful way with description and you get a great sense of place and of the people inhabiting the world uh, in which he's writing. And finally, the sort of Australasia, Oceania um, area, I've picked uh, Oscar and Lucinda by Australian author Peter Carey. Um, Peter Carey is a really celebrated Australian author, in case you haven't heard of him. Uh, everyone over here loves him. And Oscar and Lucinda is one of my favourite works of his. It's a really um, engaging and funny story. Uh, poignant as well, though. So it's one of those where you're laughing, but at the same time you're kind of really feeling sorry for the characters. So that is my around the world wrap up and some recommendations from all the continents, um, except for the penguins. And I do hope that a few of you will do this tag and I look forward to seeing which ones you're going to pick. I'll end there, but I'll be back again very, very soon with another vlog for you. Bye for now, everyone.